It is not Monday. It is Tuesday. So somebody's not doing it. What is happening? <laughs> Do we get an extra day on board? <laughs> hey, hello everyone. We're back for another vacation. We are on a cruise. We just got on board. Our call, our check-in time was 10:30. We got here at like 9:45. Parking, we were not allowed to park until 10, but we were allowed to check in at 9:45. So Dad had to wait to park. And then we got let in right at 10.30. So we ran up. Our muster station was literally right when we entered the boat. So it took two seconds because we did it on the phone. And we are already heading to the Windjammer. So it is about 10.45 and Windjammer is not open yet. So we are trying to be one of the first because we want our table. But it's empty right now. Like we were by the pool. Obviously we were like the second group of people to get on right after the key. So we are ready for our trip. It is 10.50, the doors open at the Windjammer. Time to eat. All right. I only really went to one stand so far, but the nuggets looked good. They were like Disney quality. French fries looked perfection. I got this pasta, cause I thought it was big CD, but I don't think it is. And then mashed potatoes. Did another loop around and I got myself a hot dog, more french fries, and a pineapple. Mom's already at dessert. I'm already at dessert. What'd you get? Fabric cake and a chocolate mousse. And watermelon. Is it good? Yeah, it's really, really good. First ice cream of the cruise. So we were one of the first people to get into Windjammer. Uh, we waited until it opened. It opened about 10.50. We boarded at like 10.30ish. Um, and it, it was getting very crowded as we were wrapping up. Um, so we got up to give people our tables because it was getting crowded. Like the food wise, it wasn't bad. Uh, but there wasn't really anywhere to sit. So that was more of the issue. But right now just sitting on the pool deck it is not that warm out. Uh, I think it's like 65 in Jersey. Um, so it's a little chilly in the sun. Uh, not sure. I did bring my bathing suit with, in my carry-on to see if we would go in because I know Bradley wants to. But it's like I'm cold with pants and a long sleeve on. So we shall see. We are doing a cruise out of Jersey. It is a four night cruise to Canada. So that's our only stop is Halifax, Canada. And of course it's supposed to rain the day that we were there and be like 50 degrees. It is Memorial Day week. Uh, the cruise was extremely cheap, which is why we decided to do that. Because uh, we're just going to Canada, but it was such a great price. It's cruise, we don't have to fly in because we're in Jersey, so it is a vacation. We are very excited. This is the first on the Liberty of the Seas, and it's the first itinerary of the Canada sailing. It just came back to Jersey Liberty, so we'll see what it's all about. Excited to see uh, our four days. Even in the 60s, Bradley is ready for the splash pad. I don't want to get wet. I don't want to get wet. Bradley literally ran through one thing, but it's too cold! <laughs> he lasted like 30 seconds, if you've done that. <laughs> and we can see the Statue of Liberty. Flow Rider is open for boogie boarding. I was gonna do it, but it's cold. It's so cold. Do you think anyone's gonna do it? So if you wanted to do the slides or the flow rider when it's only 60 degrees, it's the time to do it. There's zero people doing any of it. That's the first girl to go up to do the slide. Someone finally joined the flow rider doing some boogie boarding. Yeah, I'm guessing they're gonna do another thing. Oh. Score on the bathroom floor. 
basketball court now. Playing some soccer. Oh, I'm gonna get it! Oh! Bradley got his ice cream, first of the trip. How is it? And he uh, made me work up a sweat. We were playing soccer and basketball for a good amount of time, and I'm dressed up. I have like wedge flip flops on, which you're not supposed to play in flip flops, but they are attached, so like they're not flying off. Um, so I had to bribe him with ice cream so we can leave because I was getting tired. <laughs> when I had like I'll go back when like we're all dressed in sportswear because um, it was fun and I told him about pickleball so now he's very excited to do pickleball tomorrow. Oh! So. On to the TT versus um, Dodan Pong. <laughs> Alright, so that's tomorrow. That's what we're going to try tomorrow. I think we'll do good. Uh, you're going to have to fight people to fight. Here is our room, 8255. It is a promenade view. So we have a bed. They are together. You got two end tables, two couches, an area desk where I will be doing my hair and makeup. Kristen and I got adjoining because I am with Bradley. Got some shelves and some drawers, very small drawers down here. Need some loving. And then the bathroom. It's small but gets the job done. Sink. Got some storage down here. Toilet. And then your shower, very tiny. And it only comes with a hair body wash. So you're supposed to use for both. The rule of the vacation is every time you pass Sorrento's, you gotta get a slice of pizza. And we are duck hunting. There's one lady in the Facebook group that made crochet ones that I really wanted. So I'm trying to find those. All right, got my slices. Bradley didn't want pizza, he just wanted some ice cold water. Bradley told me he did not want pizza, but now he wants pizza. You pain. He's too busy, he wants to find ducks. So you eat your slice of pizza and then we'll go look for ducks. Duck hunt. We should be sailing away any minute. All right, we're officially moving. I wanna show you that we set sail. We set sail. Finally at three o'clock or three o'clock when it's about three o'two when about three o two when when it said we said it was going to be at 3 o'clock for some reason. And off we go. Day, day one of, of cruise ship to Canada. Let's go. Uh, okay. Hello. Bye. Oh yeah, sail away party. Yeah, 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 yeah. YMCA. Wow, he's crazy. <laughs> All right, God. We're, we're gonna make. We're gonna, I'm gonna let you see how I'm gonna massage Kiki's hair. So, so watch and learn.
It's crazy crowded. It is about 4.30. We are up a floor. We found a big red couch. And I just went rushing for it immediately yeah. so I could We wanted it. to save it. And we're just people watching. Wait, oh wait. Kristen got a drink. I did. The What'd you get? Red couch. A blue. Wait. What is it? What is it? Pineapple ice. And blue carousel and vodka and something else, but I don't know what something else is. Four things. Is it good? I think it tastes like blue Hawaiian punch. Oh, that's good. They came to On Air, which is the karaoke bar, and they're playing Inside Out. I mean, it's a pretty packed house. <laughs> so they're in the main dining room. We did traditional 5.30, and we have a table to ourselves. You can order something off of here though, too. Can you order one on the bottom? So they have... One night there. They, oh, that's it. Just there's 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 our waiter brought Bradley fresh fruit. Looks delicious. I'm gonna steal the kiwi. Thank you. Wait, this is your appetizer? This is his appetizer. Oh, a mac and cheese and french fries is Bradley's appetizer. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Alright, Kristen got the crab cake and me and Bradley are gonna try it. You gonna go first? I got, let me cut it. Oh, no, yeah. that one's her. Caesar salad. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> gotcha, thank you. I want the crab. Alright, go ahead. I have a whole nother one, so. You try first and then we'll film me. Oh, here we go. Thank you. 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 you. must try it you. Thank you. you. like it? I do not taste fish. I taste more of the sauce. Now do a plain. I don't think I can do a plain. That's a little much. Right What's on TV's face? And she's eating. Do you like it? Not a lot of It's not bad. Not at all. I give it like this. Eh. I already ate it, but your face is a salad. So I got the fried chicken, it comes with mashed potatoes and corn, and a honey Tabasco, but I don't like honey, so I just ask for regular Tabasco. I leave. And for dessert, I got the chocolate ice cream, and he gave Bradley about like 10 cookies. So I stole a cookie. Just finished dinner at the main dining, and we had 5.30 regular traditional dining, and it took us about an hour and a half. Wait, look how empty it is right now. Bro, I'm doing a dining review. I'll be. <laughs> uh, everything was delicious. Had the Caesar salad. He did forget to bring that at first, so he gave me a crab cake. And I don't eat fish, but I did try it. And it was good. The sauce was really good, so I really tasted that more. Um, I don't think I would eat an entire thing of it. Um, but I really liked the sauce. Uh, my fried chicken was delicious. Like, so good. <laughs> Like fall off the boat, like cooked perfectly, seasoned perfectly. He brought me out just Tabasco sauce. So I saw in some of the groups a lot of people say like you have to bring your own. There's plenty of Tabasco sauce at the Windjammer this morning, and he brought it out for me. So I did bring my own, but 
unless like as the days goes on it like starts disappearing from the windjammer we'll see but he brought it out for me for dinner and there's been some like people saying issues with like the temperature of food we didn't have any issues everything was perfect it was but all hot food yeah we were the first like cheetos first hot. so maybe like the later you are you run into that issue um but it was really good i enjoyed everything just had ice cream for uh dessert and timing wise um we waited for like a little bit in between so like not rushed at all but it still took like about an hour and a half to eat so i enjoyed it and i love the dining here last cruise we went on was the anthem and it's like separate restaurants so it didn't have that like cruise feel this like felt like old school cruise big grand restaurant and i liked it mac and cheese and french fries then got appetizer. as his appetizer which was technically i think a meal he just got it as an appetizer then he got chicken fingers and fries ate both of those the chicken fingers were not as good as they were in the windjammer completely different chicken fingers which is very weird the ones in the windjammer were like disney chicken fingers these were not my kind of chicken fingers so i guess we'll see if tomorrow the chicken fingers are like that in the windjammer because i think that's a little weird that they're like two different types of chicken fingers uh and then he gave us like 10 cookies and ice cream and some more dessert to take home back to the room so we have a lot of things to go he kept trying to like are you sure you don't want more to eat are you sure you don't want another meal uh today i just wanted the, the fried chicken the other days i do plan on getting two meals because i'm not sure if i'm gonna like the thing i'm gonna try so he was really trying to push and he also like some of us would try to like order something and he was like don't get that so i guess like they see like what people don't like or get sent back uh so he kind of gave us an idea of like what to get but we all enjoyed a meal very good oh we did not like we did get two spaghetti bolognese to try that was not good i also tried the pasta at the windjammer this mor morning for lunch and it's a very 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 sweet sauce so we don't like that kind of sauce very like chef boyardee so we did not like that but everything else was delicious and this is what i'm wearing today this is what i wore on the ship so like nice pants um little blousey top so nothing crazy i'm wearing like wedge shoes my jewelry and all that and we were the most dressed up in the main diner so let's see how the rest of the days go because i do have dresses for the rest of the days but um we were definitely the most dressed so it's not as formal as it used to be you don't get in trouble anymore we saw pajamas we saw everything so we'll see what the rest of the trip everyone's wearing all right passing by you know the rule gotta get a slice we are at the ice show it starts around 15 minutes and we got one of the last seats because there are some like poles around so we had to skip a seat but it's the only ice show of the night so I think it is more crowded and it's pretty small Ten o'clock, another slice of pizza. And just like that, another day has come to an end. It is about 10.30. We all were up super early today, so heading in to bed early. Uh, saw the ice show. I wasn't a fan of it. It was really I long. It was the best thing. Bradley loved it. It was long. I don't think it had to be that long. Uh, and then the middle was like all classical, like Russian, Asian, and I think a Spanish music section. So it was like all just classical music. So the beginning was Broadway, and then it somehow got into that. And then it ended with uh, rock and roll, and then it ended with uh, Elvis. So I don't get the premise, uh, but I think it should have, like the Broadway, I like Broadway, so I was singing a lot with the Broadway songs, uh, but I think most of the people liked the rock 
section and Elvis. So people that don't understand like the arts are not into ice skating and dance and all that. I think you gotta do music that will get them like bopping along. So wish it was more of like that kind of music. But it was long too. There's only so many tricks that they can show you in that small like don't get me wrong, the ice skaters are amazing, all the performers are amazing, the costumes were all beautiful, obsessed with the costumes, but it was eh. Like if I was on this boat again, I probably wouldn't see it. Huh. Just different music, I think, would help it. But they were all amazing. Tricks were awesome, so that was good. And yeah, so first day is going great. Uh, tomorrow is a sea day. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. And with that, I say, good night, everyone. Good night.